Good morning, YouTubers. It is Tazzy Stacker here with you on the uh, coin carpet, so to speak. So the other day I showed you the other day I showed you this, which is the 1948 uh, cinco peso. These are 90% silver, and they're just a really, really nice coin. Um, I really do like Mexican. Uh, coinage because it's it's just so beautifully done um, so much time and work and effort goes into these things to make them look like they do and they're brilliant so yesterday it's big brother arrived 47 so they made these the cinco pesos uh, 1947 1948 and they are 90 percent silver which is pretty cool um, you've seen this, this is the 49 um, Onza, this is 925, well, okay, technically it is still an ounce of pure silver, but it is marked 925. Um, in my last video, uh, it's just people getting to commenting, some people consider these a round, some people consider these a coin, uh, others um, a, a metal, what have you. Um, it all has to do with the technicality of the word peso. And peso in Old Spanish, as was pointed out on the page, uh, is an old term for weight. Okay, that's correct. However, the use of the word peso uh, as a denomination has been around for quite a long time, too. So, you know, um, it's, it's up to the individual that they consider that a round or a coin or a bullion or what have you. But, you know, hey, it's all good. So I went to the local bullion dealer the other day, and um, yesterday it was, and they had this in the display case, which I thought was amazing because they don't normally have anything like this. And I said, how much is that, you know? And they do the old uh, ten dollars over spot you know for anything doesn't matter what it is it's just ten dollars over spot so you can be lucky and find some pretty rare stuff like this one <laughs> so i was quite pleased by that um you can't really see it in this light but it has a lot of mint luster it's actually in really good nick and i'm quite happy to add this to my collection um and so when i pointed out i said um I said, you realize it's actually stamped 925? <laughs> so, you know, ever the salesperson, she shifted gears and said, oh, okay, that'll be $24. So <laughs> we went, I'll have that. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay, yes, I know that's probably cheating a little bit. But it is stamped 925. So, you know, I mean, she can make the argument, yes, but it's still technically an ounce of silver according to the overweight. But, but yeah, but it's still marked 925. So. You have to sell those 925. You can't mark. You can't mark something 925 and then expect to sell it as 999. Anyway, um, so anyway, and I've been learning a lot about Mexican coinage. And uh, there is a Facebook group that I'm a member of, along with Mike GPO and Silverino, and it is called. And I'll just bring it up here on my phone. Mexican Numismatics, Coins, Metals, and Rounds. Uh, it's a closed group, so you got to have permission to do so. Um, I would suggest contacting Silverino and asking me if you can join. And if you're into Mexican uh, Numismatics, Coins, m uh, Metals, Rounds, and stuff, it's a great group. A lot of good information. Um, like, for example, I learned last night that this is a Type 4 because of the way that the scale points between the uh, O and the N and because on the front the spacing uh, for I think it's between Mandela and D the spacing is is wider than the rest of it which I didn't know I thought that was pretty amazing um, I also learned that these uh, cinco pesos um, were used by the Texas Rangers to make um, homemade badges out of because uh, that was before the badges were issued so they would take these coins and they'd you know file the face and the obverse off and then they would carve a Texas Ranger badge out of that again you know it's it's really cool to learn all this stuff so anyway um, 
Thanks all very much. I've waffled on far too long, and I will talk to you guys later. And uh, have a good day. Thanks. Bye.